Alright, so I've been waiting to make this video for a very long time, guys. I mean, pretty much ever since they were first announced on JP for their anniversary. And now the time has finally come for us to showcase, on Global, the newly Extremes Awakened Tech LR Goku and Frieza at Rainbow Status, and also with fully maxed out links. They're gonna be amazing, I can't freaking wait, and the last thing we gotta do before we jump into the showcase is uh, quickly go over their Extreme Z Awakening details. Now, if you guys already know what they do, then feel free to skip ahead about, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, and uh, we'll get into the gameplay, okay? So, starting with the leader skill, it is reps of Universe 7, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 177%, or tech types, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. Now, you might have noticed that the reps of U7 side has not changed. It is still 177%, which, if you think about it, makes a lot of sense, right? Because this is already one of the best leader skills in the game, so if they gave it a boost, it would have been, I think, too broken. But the tech side does get a boost from 90% to 120%. And then for the super attacks, the 12 key raises defense for one turn, causes colossal damage, and lowers attack. And then the 18Q Super raises defense as well for one turn, causes Mega Colossal Damage, and lowers attack and defense. Now, of course, the raising of defense is new for the EZA. And then for the new passive, it is attack and defense plus 77% when attacking, plus an additional attack and defense plus 77% when performing an Ultra Super Attack, plus an additional attack plus 77% when the target enemy is in attack down status, is in defense down status, stun, or the target enemy super attack is sealed. And finally, key plus one at the start of each turn, up to seven. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's all you gotta know about the LR Goku and Frieza Extreme Z Awakening. Obviously, the links are the same, the categories are the same. So, there you have it, guys. And uh, yeah, with all that said, man, let's jump into it. We are running a reps of U7 team, obviously. And on this first rotation, we got them linked up with arguably their best linking partner in the game right now, the LR, Frieza, and 17. And we also got the support from Tien and Roshi. So I'm expecting some pretty crazy numbers here. We're starting off with uh, 96,561 defense, which is not crazy, but you know, you gotta keep in mind, they only get their boosts when they attack. So they're definitely a slot two unit as opposed to a slot one unit. So uh, let's give a 18 key super to the Frieza and 17, really hoping they don't kill Goku. And uh, we'll give a 24 key super to Goku and Frieza. And I'll give one orb to Tien and Roshi. Okay, let's see it, let's see it. Okay, so 3.6 mil. This is one of those times where I really hope that they don't crit, because uh, it would be really sad if we kill Goku here before we have a chance to attack with the Goku and Frieza. There we go, okay. Let's see it. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> that just happened, guys. That... <laughs> oh my god, dude. I mean, I, I, I saw it coming. Like, I, I knew it was gonna be something in that range, but... It still blows my mind, man, when I see those numbers. It really does, because, like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> we got almost 12 million attack on the first turn. I mean, technically, it was the second turn, because um, my first rotation didn't have them, so I had to move past the first Goku, but it was the first turn for them, right? The first appearance for them on this team. And almost 12 million attacks that I would have actually probably been over 12 million if I ran like double Goku and Frieza's because for this team right now we have I think one Goku and Frieza lead and then one uh, LRUI Goku lead so we did lose like 7% you know for the leader skill and maybe if we had uh, you know the tech Tien supporting with 50% attack as opposed to the Roshi and Tien with 40% it definitely would have been over over 12 million Right, but uh, that's just nitpicking. I'm just. <laughs> it, that doesn't matter, because <laughs> that's like so much attack, man. That's so much damage. And we got the crit too. 
which, uh, what would it hit for? Like 13 million or something like that? Something ridiculous. I don't remember the exact number, but it was something ridiculous. That's, that's all I need to know, man. Okay, so now we lost the support here, so we're not getting a 24k super. Um, still should be enough to one-shot Goku, though. Like, I would be very surprised if, uh, the, the Goku and Frieza don't kill the Super Saiyan 3 Goku here. And, you know, I know we're doing the original Legendary Goku event as opposed to, you know, the new GT one, but this is still one of the harder events in the game, right? Don't forget that. Like, a lot of people still struggle with this event. But now, with his easy A, uh, they shouldn't struggle nearly as much, I would say. Alright, so 6.9 mil, pretty big drop off there, but all things considered, still a very, very high attack stat. And if we get a crit here, yeah, they're dead. Alright. This is just ridiculous, man. <laughs> this is... This is pretty ridiculous, and we're getting through this pretty quickly. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if this ends up being like a you know, 10 minute run or so. Actually, you know what? I jumped into the event like a while ago, so it might say like 30 minutes, but in actual gameplay time, this is probably gonna be like a 10, 11 minute run, which is not the fastest, don't get me wrong. Like there have been faster runs, but like still pretty efficient. <sighs> oh, please dodge this. Thank you. Hey, at least he dodged the super. That's all I ask for, man. I don't care if my Gokus like never dodge normal attacks as long as they dodge the supers. And I'm happy. I'm good. By the way, how big of a difference does the um the, the Roshi and Tien make, man? I mean, like, <laughs> my Goku is getting somewhere around like 5.2 million, I think, like the AGL UI. Uh, you know, before I added these guys to the team, and now they're getting over 6 million. Like, that's that's a huge difference right there. Okay, um... Let me see. Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna let Goku and Frieza still attack, just because I want to make sure... Oh, sorry, not Goku and Frieza. Um, Frieza and 17. I want them to still attack first, just because I want to make sure they build up their passive and max it out before we get to, you know, the UI Goku. Because once we get to UI Goku, he's gonna be hitting really hard. I'm probably actually gonna have to pop an item on the str one just to make sure we don't die um but i'm gonna try to obviously limit the items because this team doesn't really need them too much but you know when, when you when you get to like the type disadvantage stages especially later on uh it can be a problem oh all right so they decided to additional super here so we're not gonna get a chance to attack again with goku and frieza that's that's too bad that's too bad it's okay though it's okay <laughs> Okay, Super Saiyan Blue Goku now. Uh, you can tell it's been a while since I've done this one because I thought it was going to be UI Goku after this. Uh, let's do... I do want my STR UI to build up his defense a bit more. I think he needs like two or three more dodges to, to max it out. So let's just... Let's save the tech orbs, of course. Although it might not matter. It might not matter. Um, if... You know, if these guys kill this Super Saiyan Blue Goku. You know, this is a bit of a problem, actually. Maybe I should start bringing weaker teams, like, outside of the main unit I'm trying to f showcase, just so we don't kill the enemies as fast. Because, like, I've noticed, you know, like, I don't get to actually show the, the, the potential of some of the units that I'm showcasing just because the rest of the team is so OP. Um... You know what, we're already in here, so obviously I'm not going to change it up now. But, for future reference... Oh, please dodge. Just when I was praising this guy, just when I said, Yo, thank you, man, you dodged the super, good job. You did what you were supposed to do. Just got to turn around and do that. Just had to... Just had to let me down. Just had to let me down. All right, that's cool. That's fine. Uh, oh, his defense is down. Nice. Okay, so I guess I'll put them here. Uh, get that nice 24 key super. And we should see something very similar to what we saw in the in the first turn. Um, maybe a little bit lower, possibly. Yeah, a little bit lower. I think we're missing like one link from the Roshi and Tien. But still close to 11 million. Still should get this guy out of here right now. 
Yep. Okay, they can't stop critting too. I don't think they've done a non-crit so far. <laughs> alright, alright. Uh, let me see. So I don't think we need an item here as long as we make sure... Well, as long as we get the dodges off, that that's a big thing. That's a big part of it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna save the active skills for now. We'll use them in the MUI stage. Getting a nice... token attack. Okay, yes, nice dodge. Alright. So let me just make sure we get all of these nodes here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom! Done. Okay, so UI has uh, 6.7, 6.7 mil. Yeah, guys, don't sleep on STR UI. I, I know we got some other good UI options out there now. You know, the, the Int one, the uh, even the Fizz one's a good option for events like this. But STR UI is still extremely, extremely powerful. Still extremely um, worth using, you know, on pretty much every single team. And once we get the same name update, we're going to be running all the UIs on the same team, right? Like, it doesn't matter uh, what team you're using, as long as you can use UI Goku, I'm going to run all of them. The the Fizz one, the AGL one, the Int one, the STR one, and probably just like... Actually, you know what? I was going to say a couple of supports, but they don't link with each other if they have the same name. So I guess I, would ha I still have to bring linking partners for each of them. I haven't thought too much about the team composition there. But I'm excited for it. I'll figure it out, I'm sure, once we get there. But that's coming soon. That's coming soon. Uh, okay, so this will be interesting. This will be interesting. I'm a little bit concerned, if I'm being completely honest. A little bit concerned about the Goku and Frieza. Um, if they happen to get supered, it could be a bad time. I'm not going to use any items, though. Just because uh, I want to test them a little bit, you know? I want to test their tanking capabilities. So if this ends up being a mistake and I die, well, it just wasn't meant to be, I guess, you know? Some nice attack, though, from the Goku and... Oh, sorry, the Frieza and 17. Nice additional, too. Guys, don't sleep on this unit. I've said this a lot, right? I I'm, I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing this, but don't sleep on this unit. They're extremely good. Okay, so they're getting supered. That's good to see. And they will take... I'm gonna say less than 100. 45. There you go. 45k. When I said 100, I meant 100k, by the way. I didn't mean, like, they were gonna take 100 damage. Because, <laughs> obviously, that wasn't gonna happen. But less than 100k is really, really good. And now these guys get to attack. No crit there. Of course, they don't crit the one time that we're facing type disadvantage, right? That of course what happened, but uh, look at the look at the tanking, look at the defense, guys. Type disadvantage against Int UI Goku, and we only took double digits for normals. I know the crit, I mean I know the super would have probably hit for like still 200k maybe, right? But even compared to before, like that would have been fine if we took 200k for a super. Compared to like before where we where we would have taken like 500k or whatever. That's still a massive, massive improvement, right? So I am more than satisfied with this unit, man. Like it's got everything. It's got the much improved defense. Even better offense, which is insane because their offense was already off the charts before. And more key, right? Easier to get super attacks off. Um, what can I say, man? What can I say about this unit? I mean, I kind of felt like it was not necessarily a, you know, not needed easy A because they did need it for their defense, but it wasn't an easy A that I felt like was a priority, you know? Like, I didn't think that it, they, they needed an easy A over, like, the original LRs or, like, a lot of other units in this game that don't have easy A's yet. But that being said, I'm really happy about this, man. Like, I'm all for super busted, super broken units, and this is definitely one of those. Um, so I see the temptation, of course. When, when people watch this video, and if you don't have Goku and Frieza, you might be tempted to summon on the Extreme Z battle banner. I get it. But um, it's not a good banner, guys. <laughs> it's not a good banner. That being said, you do have a decent chance of pulling the Goku and Frieza, so 
I would say if you're like super, super tempted, do maybe two the three multis at most to see how it goes and then and then just call it a day right like if you get lucky and you get them in those multis then great congratulations if not though i wouldn't chase uh, i wouldn't chase you got one two three four five six seven seven ssrs so much better than your average legendary summon banner and um you know there, there's a good chance but at the same time don't chase guys i just don't think it's worth that many stones but these guys though are insane um if anything save up your gold coins to get them uh yeah i mean with the easy a they they do become one of the best options with gold coins for sure so i i think that's actually a good call anyways choice is up to you point is they're insane <laughs> they're amazing there is your showcase hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them and uh that's it guys, that's the video. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.